guys, thanks for watching. So today I am going to be doing another what's in my purse video. I get so many requests for this video and I don't really know why. I guess you guys really got a kick out of my last one. A lot of people said it was really, really funny and I was like, that's just me. I carry a lot of weird shit in my purse, but I get a lot of comments like, oh my God, you should do another one. I get emails, messages, like it's hilarious. I didn't really think that the last one was all that great, but uh, yeah, so we're here. I'm going to do another one. This will be like my fall what's in my handbag. And I'm just going to start off now talking about the handbag because I absolutely hate this handbag. I got this on clearance with Avon. I thought it was cute because of the tassels. Little did I know that these tassels are not really like attached to the handbag. They're just like lightly um, threaded through these little loops and they constantly are falling off. So I'm trying to like knock them onto the handbag. But so many of them have fallen off already. I'm a little aggravated, but this was only like 16 bucks. It's originally like 40 something. So you know me, I don't go for like really expensive handbags. I am not about the designer life at all. So all my handbags that I use get trashed and they get trashed fast because I am not one of those girls who is like, oh, my handbag, I love my handbag. Like, hell no, that is not me. I toss my shit around. It's just, it's on the floor, it's in the car, rolling around in the back seat. Like, my handbag is not a prized possession. It's a damn handbag, so, yeah, you're not going to see any designer shit if that's what you're looking for. But I am decked out for Halloween. I have my um, little Halloween candy earrings on, and then I have a little, like, Halloween charm ghost little necklace on. And then my little bitch's hat, excuse me, witch's hat. Do I say bitch? <laughs> By the way, this glitter eye look right here is pretty much my, I think I called it my pumpkin spice eye. I actually had did that tutorial last October. If you're interested in checking it out, I will link it down below. It was a terrible tutorial. I seem to be progressing a little bit and getting better with makeup tutorials, just a little bit. So it's a little old, a little out of date. I actually think, no joke, I'm actually wearing this exact same shirt in that tutorial. Holy shit, Brittany. But this is pretty much the exact same eye, but I used a different glitter today. I used my new NYX glitter that I got in my Ulta haul, and I did a lot more orange eyeshadow instead of the brown. So you can imitate it, just, you know, tweak it to how you like it. So yeah, let's just jump right into what I have in my purse, because I'm going to let you know right now. This is probably going to be another long one, just like the last time. I got a lot of shit. I have a lot of shit. So first things first, just looking at the outside, I have this little clip here. So if you guys watched my last what's in my purse, you saw my business cards. It's just these like black, white, and gold cards with little lips and it says Makeup Maven Britney Smith, Beauty is my art. And then on the back it just has my YouTube and Instagram information. So I just keep them in this little badge holder so I remember to pass them out because I forget a lot. I'm always asking like my boss monitor or my boyfriend like, hey, has anybody got my business cards on them because like I need one. <laughs> it's like so bad. I can never remember to pass out my own shit. Next thing is just my cell phone. It has not changed any. It is just beaten to hell. As you can see, the, <laughs> the rubber on the case is all just kind of like coming off. The rhinestones that I did on the back over a year ago look like shit now. This is a life proof case and this is an iPhone 6S. Plus? Is it a 6S plus or just a 6 plus? I can never get that to right. Like I can never get that together. Like what is it? I don't really know. It's a phone. It's good to go. And if you guys can see the wallpaper on my phone, it's my bunny, Lyle, or AKA Moo Moo. He's going to be 10 on Easter. He is my little Easter bunny. That is actually like his birthday in my eyes because he was born somewhere around Easter, but I don't know the exact date, so I just celebrated on Easter, but I cannot believe he is almost a decade old. My little baby. I have my vlogging camera in my purse, not because I've been vlogging or anything, but because my mom needed to borrow it to take some pictures of some stuff at my grandma's house because we're in the middle of trying to sell her house, or I think we actually found a buyer now. I'm taking it very, very uh, difficult. I'm not taking it well at all. I get really emotional talking about it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But um, yeah, so she wanted to just take some pictures of some furniture and stuff to try to sell it online, so I let her borrow my camera. Um, this is a Sony Cybershot ESC-HX80. I haven't a fucking clue. I just needed a camera, so I went and got this. At Best Buy, it was extremely expensive in my eyes. 
it's not expensive as some other cameras. This does have 18 megapixels. I just thought it was really expensive for what it was. Cameras have gotten so ridiculously expensive, but it is really, really nice when you turn it on and everything, like the lens pops out and then you have like a little flip screen. Oh look, you can see all my filming shit. <laughs> so that you, if you want to take a selfie or if you're vlogging, you can like see what you're looking at and stuff. It is really nice. I like the big screen. But yeah, so that's why that's in my purse. I'm bringing it home because she's all done with it. In here is just my makeup if I need to touch up throughout the day. Here. So I just have some Makeup Geek single eyeshadows in here in case I needed to touch anything up. My favorite, like, sweep away any junk under your eye brush. <laughs> it's an It Cosmetics brush. It's really old. It's called the Airbrush Powder. It's just my favorite. I have a little quad of four Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows. I just brought it with me in case I wanted to use that white shade in here. An eyeliner. This actually needs to go in the trash, it's dried up, but this is the Avon Super Shock Mascara. I used to be like a huge fan of this. I still kind of am, but I don't really reach for it very often at all. I tend to just keep this in my makeup bag in case I need to touch up my mascara throughout the day, but this is actually no good. It's junk, I need to put this in my empties. This here is just my old Anastasia Brow Powder in Auburn. I keep this in my makeup bag in case I need to touch up my brows. Sometimes I think I look really good when I'm sitting here doing my makeup. I'm like, oh my god, my brows look good today. But then I get in my car and I look in my rearview mirror as I'm driving. And I'm like, oh, this one doesn't look right here. Oh, this one doesn't look right. So I just have this with me in case I need to try to tweak anything. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I hate my freaking eyebrows. I have a Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in here. I think this one's almost dried out. I don't know why I need multiple mascaras in the bag, but I do. Um couple of my makeup brushes that are in here. I just have a few like eye makeup brushes in case I needed them. I have my Avon makeup setting spray in here. I actually do not like this. I did like it a while ago but now I can't stand it. It just is not that good. It sprays out in big wet spots. I just am not a fan of this so I'm actually going to take this out. I have a MAC single eyeshadow in nylon which I used for my inner corner highlight today. I actually didn't even touch my makeup up today, so I'm kind of glad it's still looking pretty decent. I think it's the new foundation. I'm using the new Smashbox Studio. Studio Fix? Photo something? I don't, what is it called? I'm using the new Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, and I actually really like it. The only bummer thing is, I did return the 2.1, if you guys watched my Ulta haul, I did return the lighter shade that I had bought because it was so orange undertoned, but... They don't have anything lighter than the one that I have on now for when, like, I start to get a little lighter in the winter, which is shitty. They have so many other lighter colors, but they're so yellow, orange undertone, they will just not go with my skin tone. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really like the foundation, but they need a better selection. This here is just a NYX Treasure Light Brown Eyeliner that I used today, and that was all that was in this bag. So I had to go to the dentist today, and I was actually running really early, and there was a CVS down the street, so I decided to just go in and peruse the makeup aisle for about 10 minutes, you know, just to see if there was anything new that I wanted. I didn't really see a whole lot that I wanted, but they were having a sale buy two get one free on NYX products, so I bought another freaking brow liner pencil. I got another brown eyeliner, and then I got a black one. I have backups of all of these things already, but I was like, oh, that's a good deal. Let me just get them. I have issues. And then they had LA Girl in there on display, and I was like, oh my god, since when is LA Girl in stores? Like, I always thought it was something you had to order online. I've never actually physically seen it in the store yet. And I saw these lip liners, and I was like, ooh, let me try these out. They were only $1.99, and I got, like, all basic bitch colors, because I'm so boring. I lately have just been using a lip liner to fill in my lips. I haven't been using a lip gloss or a lipstick. I just lip line and call it a day. I still have my invoice for my Ulta order and the receipt from when I made the return. Oh yeah, when I returned that foundation, I wound up getting another Mario Badescu drying lotion. If you guys have not tried this, this is like the shit if you get a breakout. So amazing. I have my mace in here, which I know is expired and I really should throw it the hell out. But, um, yeah. Oh, this is pepper spray. It's not even mace. Isn't mace different than pepper spray? Oh, actually, it just expired in June of this year. So to me, it's still decent. Like, it's still good to keep. I have a Best Buy receipt because 
I have had to go in Best Buy so many times this past like couple months, it's ridiculous. Our school buses are burning out all of my GPS chargers. It's fucking ridiculous. Every single time I have to take my GPS out of my bus and put it into another bus if I'm using it, the cord just burns out. I think the buses are like overcharging them. So I'm constantly going back to freaking Best Buy to return it and get a new one. And I'm like, they're going to wind up like not giving me any more because I'm the one who's ruining these damn things. So I have the receipt because I have to go and exchange the damn thing again. This is going to be, I'm not kidding, fifth or sixth time I've been back there to do this. They're going to be like, this chick is nuts. I have a NYX uh, Butter Gloss. This one's in Creme Brulee. And then I have some of the Soap and Glory A Great Kisser Lip Moisturizing Balm. It's in a little tin. I'm not really a fan of these, but I kind of just like smear my lips in it. No one else uses this but me. I have this little charm hanging around. It's actually supposed to go on like the headphone jack or the auxiliary port in your cell phone. It's like a little charmy thing. My company got this for us. It just says, look ahead, look around, leave room, and communicate. It's like a little tablet thingy-mabob. What are these called? I don't know what they're called. But LLLC is like our little safety guideline thing that we use while we're driving. So that's why it says look ahead, look around, leave room. Many people need to take that goddamn advice. And communicate. Because I mean, why the fuck do we have directionals anyway? I have this nice little pen in here. I kind of stole this from my boyfriend because I really like the way it writes. I don't know where he got it, but I like it. I have a thing for pens. Like, I'm not even kidding. I love pens. One of the tassels from my purse, another tassel from my purse. My little hairbrush, which I really need to get a new one because this one, every time I brush my hair, the freaking thing comes out. It's really, really annoying. This was from Avon from like a million years ago. Pretty sure I showed this in my last video. My wallet, not like much has really changed in here. It's still pretty much the same. Lots of shit. Lots and lots of shit. This is another NYX lip liner. This one is in mauve. I've been using this one a lot lately. A Walmart receipt that I need to scan into my Walmart app. I have a shit ton of other receipts that are just sitting in the bottom of my freaking bag. What is this? Market basket. Okay. They're just like sales receipts from the grocery store. Gotta love going grocery shopping because it only costs a small fortune. For whatever reason, my lip balm got stuck in this envelope here. But yes, I have to have my lip balm. I have about 30 of these. I'm not even kidding because I'm a lip balm queen. This is just my savings account statement. And then I still have this Navigant money pouch that I actually got from the bank teller at the bank when she first saw my purse and was like, holy shit, woman, you need to organize that. And I was like, tell me about it. So she gave me this nice little pouch so that I could keep like papers and stuff in it. But as you can see, let's get real here. So I have my express invoice when I had to go and return a pair of pants. One of the pairs of pants that I bought, and I'm so bummed because I really, really liked them. I must have been like a manufacturing defect, but I wore them to work and the goddamn seam on the side of the leg started to split. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I had to go and return those. This here is just a pack of Spearmint Extra Long Lasting Gum. I really, really like these new packs that they're coming in. This is only like $1.90, like, hello. I have my little Avon nail kit. Pretty sure I showed this in the last one and I actually just hauled more of these in my Avon haul. But I absolutely love these. They just come in handy when you need like a nail file or a nail clipper. I have my Avon little blotting sheets. A $15 reward from Victoria's Secret, which I probably won't use. I should give it away, honestly. Big ass red Sharpie. A little moist towelette. Checkbook. My Kohl's rewards card, which I still have yet to set up. Some more of my business cards in this little sleeve, which I honestly forgot that they were in here. This here is a little planner that I had actually bought when I had started training to be a trainer so that I could keep my schedule all together, but I honest to God do not use this at all. I don't even know why I wasted the money on it. I have not wrote anything in here since September. I don't use it. I really don't. I just never reach for that thing. I need something like big and in my face for me to use it. That's just too small and it gets lost in my bag so I just don't even bother with it. A receipt from the shoe department because I bought some really cute like little cowgirl glitzy boots in there which I still have yet to wear. Another Walmart receipt. Pay stub. Pay stub. Some more um, car taxes. You know I just uh, never ending with the bills. 
This here is just my old health insurance information. I do now have health insurance, by the way. Yes, I got it in July. Last but not least in the Navigant bag, do y'all remember this little pouch here? For those of you who watched my last What's in My Purse video, you guys should already know what's in here. This is kind of embarrassing what's in here. So, can you guys see what's in here? There's probably about 40 or 50 packets of sugar. As I am just waiting for diabetes, apparently. I just never know when I'm going to need another sugar. I can't even tell you how many times I've gone to a Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, and I tell them so many sugars, but it seems like they put way less in there, so I have to add my own. Or if I go to Panera, I take their little raw sugars because I like to put those in my hibiscus tea that I get there. So yes, I have a pouch full of sugar. And last but not least, the little side pouch inside the purse. I have a little pack of tissues. I didn't even know those were in there, honestly. This here is just a little container of some medicine in case I get migraines. I have a couple of Advil migraines in here and a few Excedrins because I just never know when a migraine's gonna come on and I need these. Like, as soon as I start to feel like my head's hurting, I'm like, I gotta take these now because I'm not dealing with migraine. The Menexium for when I get like really, really bad heartburn because we all know my gallbladder just fucks with me all the time. And then I, of course, have my car keys and my house keys and all that good stuff right here. And of course, it has like my little school bus keychain on it. Also in that little pouch, I almost forgot that this was in there. This is a rock. <laughs> Sorry, I need a second. I carry a rock with me. <clears throat> so for the last day of school, last school year, which was in June of this year, one of my little girls gave me this and she drew a red tulip on it and said that this was like my good luck rock. So I carry it around with me and it's sentimental to me. I love this rock. I actually think I'm going to put it over here though so that um, I can have good luck in here. I forgot that that was even in there. I carry rocks in my purse. No wonder my bag is so heavy all the time. Yeah, guys, now my purse is nice and empty. I'm totally loving it. I wish it could stay that light, honestly, but I think I'm going to switch handbags. i got to find something else to use because that one's really aggravating me with all the damn tassels falling off. It's like a piece of junk to me. I can't. That was everything in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure it was just as insane as my last one. If you guys have any questions or comments or just want to, like, you know, pick on me, <laughs> just leave it all down below in the comments. <laughs> Do you guys carry any weird-ass shit in your handbag so that I don't feel so totally left out? Like, please let me know down below, too, because I would love to know that I am not the only one that carries some weird-ass stuff around. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button before you leave if you enjoyed my videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What am, what am I talking about? Huh, what did you decide? That you're an idiot? Because I think we decided that a long time ago.